Hello everyone, it's Dawn here from First Light Creations and welcome to this unboxing of Paper Craft Society 32. Now, before I start, I do have to very quickly tell you, this was supposed to be an unboxing from scratch so that I didn't have a clue what was in it. Well, I didn't until my first unboxing attempt and my cat jumped on the wind on top of the table. He saw something that sparkled and everything went everywhere. So I have already opened this box and unwrap some of the things in it but we're going to have another go the cat's been quietly shut in the bedroom for the time being so hopefully it'll stay there until the end of this unboxing so here we go this is paper craft society box 32 and it's been designed by the fabulous olga directorenko so i'm going to get straight on and open the box and see what's inside and we've got some create some everlasting bubbles with your kit so that's what all these little circles were they're bubbles i wonder what they were so create some everlasting bubbles with your kit and that's from Olga. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to take this out, the wallet, and slide the box to one side. And we've got Paper Craft Society Box 32, Paper Discovery, which is the brand name of Olga. And we've got more bubbles on the front here, on the case, on the wallet. Golly, that's a strong one. So we're going to open it up and we're being reminded to share our makes on our social media to Paper Craft Society and we're going to open it up and see what we've got. Now, in as always with Paper Craft Society wallets, they come in three parts. So I'm going to open mine out all the way. And to start off, we have got a die set. So experience has taught me we're going to need some, some white paper. So I've got I've just grabbed some printer paper from my office. So there we are, we have a fabulous die set here, more bubbles. We've got a bubble border, and you can either cut that part into your paper or your card, or there's an edge duck, there's an edge border that you can cut it out. So you can do either way. So you can either cut it into your paper or cut the shape out, which is absolutely fabulous. You've got some more bubbles here, and you've got a bubble edge here, which I now know is just an edge. It doesn't, I thought it might go with something, it doesn't particularly, but you can make strips. So perhaps we can make some rainbow strips and one of our projects, which we might do later on. And we've got a little girl with her bubble wand. We're blowing bubbles. And you've got the word relax. And you've got the word, whatever that says, it's difficult to read it back, back to front. Cheers. So you've got cheers, relax. Another little bubble border there. A, a lovely little duck. I've never seen that in a paper craft society. It's like a little rubber duck. So that's absolutely gorgeous. We've got some what looks like some little nesting circles here and yet more bubbles. So that's wonderful. So I'm going to slide my paper to one side and you've got another little message that says crafting is my happy bubble. I like that. That is really, really good. And we have an embossing folder, which is usually quite deep with the Paper Craft Society. And this one's no exception. It is. It's really good quality. So more bubbles in there. And we have some papers. As I said, I have already opened this. So that's why it's all like this. But this was in a lovely plastic covering, a bit like this. And we've got some more bubbles on the inside of the wallet, so that's fantastic. And we've got a nice pale blue one. And we've got, now, that looks like beer labels. I'm not sure what, actually, some of them are real. Pilsner is a real one, I believe. So I think some of them might be made up and some of them might be genuine ones, real ones. So there we go. And we've got some more bubbles there. And that beautiful colour which coordinates beautifully with the front of the wallet there. So that's fantastic. And we've got another bubbly one. That looks a little bit like a bubble bath element. And we've got some what look like, they look like wine labels. So you've got, you're not old, you're vintage. I know some elderly relatives that might be appreciative of that. Happy birthday. A toast to you. Happy birthday. Cheers to 21 years. Brewed to perfection, so I'm presuming that's for a more like a beer than a wine. You've got cheers, 40 years, premium quality vintage. Now, isn't that great? Aged to perfection. So, and cheers to 70 years, cheers to 80 years. So you've got different ages for your birthdays. And then here's some more vintage type things. This is like a vineyard with your bottles and your grapes. So that is really lovely. And now these look like some wine and beer labels that you put on your bottle. So you've got a toast to you, happy birthday. 
extra quality pale ale for my favourite male. Oh, I like that. That's really good. Premium quality vintage, aged to perfection. So that might go on the wine bottle. And you've got a cork there. that we, You can just cut these out. It's there, celebrate. And this looks like the top of a beer bottle. So it says a toast to you. Happy birthday. And another cork there. Happy birthday. I've never seen happy birthday on a cork. Isn't that fantastic? Perhaps we can have that sticking out of a bottle. If there's an image of a bottle. I'm sure there probably will be. Oh, yes, I think there is. Because we have another set here. You will never regret the time you spent blowing bubbles. Now, isn't that true? Didn't we all love doing that when we were children? Well, I know I did. And the other one here, you've got add shine and dimension to your projects to make your projects pop. Well, it's a bit difficult to read sideways. But we've got this lovely stamp set here, which we're going to have a look at. And you've got, oh, you've got a lady in the bath with some beautiful bubble bath. And it says, have a bubbly day. Isn't that nice? And there, as if one glass isn't enough, she's got her glass of champagne or wine in her hand. And there's a stand with a bucket of ice and a bottle of bubbly, just in case one glass isn't quite enough. And then you've got, bring on the bubbles. Leave your bubbles in the troubles. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Isn't it? Leave your troubles in the bubbles, even. So that's fantastic. And you've got a cork here, and that's. it looks like it's embossed, so you've got that texture in there as well. I'm blown away by your kindness. Beers, it's your birthday. And you've got some more bottles here and more bubbles. And again, you've got a glass of wine, and you've got the embossed section that looks like it's got the bubbles in it. And again, with this lovely glass of beer. So that's fantastic. Oh, and you've got just a little, like a silhouette of some flowers. So that's nice. I like that. And some more. They look like little dandelion clocks, don't they? So we'll see what we can do with them. I'm sure we're going to have great fun with them. In fact, I know we are. So I'm just going to put the wipe to one side for now. And I'm going to close this up and pop it there. And we're going to bring in, well, I'm going to bring in the box and open the tissue paper. And when I opened the tissue paper, I got to this point, which is where my cat jumped on the table, which is why everything's all open. And do excuse the rustling. And we have got, let me just slide that to one side so we can see. We've got some Paper Craft Society. Oh, this is accent glaze. So when we're stamping our bubbles, we can put it in. It'll make it look nice and shiny and wet. So that's fantastic. I'm going to put that up there so it doesn't fall on the floor this time. Now, this was originally, these are some little water droplets or plastic water droplets, I should say. And originally these were in a little paper bag, but I've just put them into a Ziploc bag so that they don't fall off again. So these, when my cat jumped on the table, these went all over the floor. So I just had to spend time picking them up, bless her. So they are going to be great on our projects just to make more dimension. And we have some card, our card stock, but again, this had a lovely wrapper around it. So we'll just go through it and see what colours we've got. We've got a nice green and we have, I'd say that's a charcoal. It's not quite a black. And we have uh, orangey red. So these will be great for stamping our wine labels on and our beer labels. We have a, another green, different colour green this time. We have a type of sandy brown. I call it a sandy brown and it's double sided as well. So you can distress this if you want to and tear it. And we have got a nice pale blue, we have a yellow, and this gorgeous fuchsia pink. Now that is absolutely lovely. And last but by no means least, we always have, with Paper Craft Society, we always have the book. Now this is the lovely Olga, if you've not seen her already. And we'll just have a quick flick through. I have, this is one thing I didn't get round to. I haven't flicked through the book, so I don't know what's in it yet. So this is the only thing that'll be a surprise. So we'll just have a quick look through. Oh, well, oh, look, we've got that little duck. I've never seen a duck in a Paper Craft Society box before or even on a project, so that's going to be fun. So we'll just have a quick look. We won't, we won't look at everything. And there is that bubble border that we can use. And we have an interview with Olga. I'm looking forward to reading that to see what she's done, been up to since the last time she did her last Paper Craft Society box and other projects. And we've got one for the men here, beer. And for the ladies, if they like the beer, some do. And oh, there's lots of things in here. So, oh, and there's that lady in the bath. And I love these rainbowy colours. Now, you can, it looks like someone spent a lot of time cutting this several times. 
and paper piecing it. But if you don't want to do that, a little tip, I might do that when I do my series. If you don't want to paper piece it, what you can do is cut it out and then just colour it. Colour it with these lovely colours, with your markers or your paints or whatever you like to use to colour with, or pencils, so no one would ever know. So there you go, and there's the little girl with her bubble wand, and I'm sure it looks like we've used the accent glaze there as well, or well, somebody has. So that's really good. And we've got other projects as well, and we've got some for the gentleman, and there's our border that we can use if we want to. And I love this geometric shape here, that's really nice. And there it is again, and some stamp it, stamped background so we can create our own designer papers if we want to. And relax, fabulous at 50. So what better way to celebrate your birthday than a nice big deep bubble bowl. So that's lovely. And there are some more of our lovely designers from Paper Craft Society. And that is one of the projects from the book. So there we go. That is Paper Craft Society box 32 by the fabulous Olga Director Enco. I'm not going to try and get everything back in the box because I know I won't. But if you're interested in subscribing to Paper Craft Society and you haven't already, I think you can subscribe for a month, three months, six months or a year. And I will add a link in the comments down below, below the video so that you can go straight to it if you're interested. And so I hope you've enjoyed this and found it helpful. I can't wait to get into this box and start playing with it and making some fantastic projects. Well, at least I hope they'll be fantastic. So until the next time, thank you for watching. Take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.